So we're going to take a look at Class Dojo. This is something that has been introduced to the student teachers before they've gone out onto their placement. And lots of schools are using this already, so it's useful for them to understand how class management systems may already be up and running in schools. And students can then engage with how this might work for them. So this is it. Uh, we have our classes. I've already made some classes here to, to use as demonstrations to our Year 1 students. If I tap into the class, you can see um, it's quite fun. It's quite a refreshing approach to sort of behaviour management because it does make it enjoyable to engage with. Um, and in my experience working with students, they do really, really like to have these images of themselves in this alien type way. Really, really easy to set up. We just copy and paste in a class list um, and, and all of a sudden it, it documents everything for you. You've got all of your students created in there. It gives them an automatic um, character associated to them. In order to use this, it's quite simple. We tap on the person that we might want to give a positive to or someone who we might need to highlight that they need more work and we just tap on what it is. And you'll see how it changes on the screen to give them those positive rewards. We can actually add notes into those things as well if we want to go into more detail about why they've received it. We can also give them areas to improve. So here we can see that there's specific <coughs> areas that they might need to improve on. And we've just highlighted those ones as well. So it's a really, really straightforward, easy approach to doing things. We can give whole class rewards. So if everybody's been on task, everyone gets a positive. And the way you use it in the class is really flexible and up to the teacher. And we'll look in later chapters about how you might use that yourselves. So if I tap on the settings, I can actually see how I've put this together. So if I want to add students, you can see here, here's my student class. And if I want to add in any more students, all I need to do is just tap in the top bar and just add in someone's name and click done. If I want to change that feedback though, I might not want my students to be looking at these things in particular, we can see that I can actually add in different behaviours. So I can take these ones away and I can have something very specific to my class. So thinking about your own classroom rules, you can add those in and that works exactly the same for needs work. Again, your classroom rules, your ownership of this. And that's really it, it's as simple as that. Once that's done, you can just go in and out and, and have multiple classes if you need to have multiple classes. Lots of people have looked at different groups that they might have. It might be a literacy intervention group. You might set up a specific class around that. But really, really simple and easy to set up.